Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter Tim Spears. Tim, this is not going to be a long video. I am absolutely frigid. You're going to have, you're going to have to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> frigid. You're going to have to remove that scarf. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, it's baby. Cold. The coldest you've ever been this season? Coldest you've ever been in my life. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there, there was just the snow and ice all over the press box. We're not getting a lot of sympathy, by the way, from the peeps. No, no we won't do. But Robin Marshall, an experienced journalist of 33 years 33, experience, 33. says this is the coldest he's ever been at a football match. So really? When a man with that kind of gravitas, no, 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 no one who works at Express and Star, obviously, with that gravitas no. and experience, you know it's cold. Yeah, it's proper cold, but we will walk. Go on. Go on. No, go on. I was going to say, you know, weather based chat. Yes. Uh, which is riveting for the, for the people. Mm. It had an impact on the game, no, not just in in, um, in the way it was played, but also in the atmosphere. Because, you know, you had Laurie Dalrymple telling everyone yesterday, let's help get the team over the line, let's, let's roar Wolves to victory. And and was, oh no, I've messed my mic up, sorry. Go on, carry on. And it was so. Uh, they were like that, they couldn't speak. And it was so, so, so cold that it made it really quiet. Yeah. Uh, in, in what was a packed modern year, which is a bit of a shame. So you can, you can, can, you, can you give them a pass then tonight, the crowd? I mean, well, as a fan, surely you get warmer by jumping up and down and singing. Yeah. But no. You weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was trying to type. You I was, I'm doing this typing. Oh, yeah, you were so spilling cold. coffees across the across poor BBC people. Right, we're not talking about football yet. This is, I'm so sorry. But I spilt my... Uh, this is this is quality, by the way. I spilt my tea across the across the table. Yes. I didn't have enough stuff to clean it up with. No. By the 90th minute, it turned to ice. Frozen. It was frozen. Ice, it was frozen. Ice tea. But we were warmed, warmed to the, to, to the cockles of our hearts by a nice 3 one uh, very comfortable and much needed and you know a, a, a feather in our cap maybe we did say post villa you couldn't hand pick two, no. two, two better fixtures than Reading and home at home and burton at home and, and, and so it's proved to be it's um it's two games it's six goals it's six points we don't know what villa are going to do at bolton Let's as, say as we speak yeah um but Wolf, the Wolf, lead points. will be a minimum of 10 points mm -hmm. to third place with eight games to go and I've got to say, you've got to you've got to praise Wolves. I know that that the opposition were meek, yeah. and obliging, yeah. and you know they rolled over and let Wolves tickle their bellies. Yeah. But Wolves have still come through a real test of character. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come Wolves, on. Wolves have still come through a real test of character this week because, like I said, I, I know the op the opposition have been ideal, mm -hmm. but we've still got to beat them. And Wolves have beaten not only beat them but they beat them handsomely. And it says a lot for the character of this team yeah. to to step back out to the pitch so soon after that four one humbling, mm -hmm. that humiliating at Villa Park. Okay, let's not, let's not dwell on it. Come on, move on. And uh, and recover in such style and um, and extend their lead back at the top of the table. <laughs> you are a relief man, aren't you? <laughs> if they had won today, you'd have been in trouble. I Why? Wouldn't, I wouldn't see you back at Middlesbrough. Why? A man's promotion. Incredible. Um, Alder Costa, back to his best, isn't he? Inti. Inti. Here we go. Inti. Love, you, you, you're going to know when you get all excited. Yes, back to his best, isn't he? Alder Costa. <laughs> Looked very good today. Mm. His touch was sublime. Mm. Always looking to take players on kind of just breezing past them kind of effort effortlessly really what's clicked um, them these last few games do you think he's been he's uh oh, he's, he's taking on plays like you say isn't he? he's got that confidence he's, yeah he's taking up the mantle really that that, that joss has kind of left off a little bit and it's more about playing football and you know what they say they say those people say that if you suffer a serious injury it takes the amount that you were out that you've got to play for again before you're back to your best. So Costa was out for what? Oh God, it's, too, it's too cold to count, but it's about, yeah, a few months. And now it's taken a few months for him to get back to his mm -hmm. best. So that's worked, hasn't it? Yeah. And we're seeing the Costa of old now. And what's really exciting for me is that you've got Benekfobi in form, yeah. four in four. You've got Helder Costa playing his best football since last season. Mm -hmm. You've got Ruben Neves playing as well as he has all season. Yeah. Cavalera looks bang in form to me. Yeah. So it's not like Wolves are, 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 are shuffling over the line here. They're yeah. not limping over the line. Yeah. They've got key players in form yeah. who are going to hopefully that they're going to coast to oh. the hello coast. <laughs> we just get, just get <laughs> to the race to the finish line. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are, you okay? I'm your wife to get me in because I'm going to lock this door in. Ooh. Yeah, we're fine, thanks. Thanks, yeah, right. we're fine. Thanks for that. See you later. Anyway. <laughs> That's incredible scene. Right, go Keeping on. Keeping this in the video, by the way. Yep. Um, and and Benny Kofobi play, playing for a place as well, playing for hopefully get signed permanently in the next season, not doing himself any harm. 
So he's, this is what we wanted, this, this is, is what it. we said, yes. that Benikifobi could take Wolves to, the, to this level and be the clinical striker that they've lacked since uh, you know early December, Bonatini hasn't scored since, and he's doing that, and, he, and he's what Bonatini doesn't do is get in those positions in the box and make himself available, like he's done for that third goal, he's 12 yards out, Cavalera's just got to put it on a plate for him, and he's side foot at home, and he's just said he could have done it blindfolded. Yeah. And you know the first goal was great, playing off the last man, beat the offside trap. Sure. Neves, perfect through ball. So he's done well today because Burton defended, you know, pretty deep for most of the game, and he, he's had to adjust his game and he's had to come deep and try and link the play. And I thought he did that pretty well, considering that's not the way that he normally plays. But the most important thing: four goals in four games, yeah. and he's looking sharp now. The man has not played a lot of football. I know he's got a lot of appearances under his belt, but he hasn't played a lot of football for the last two seasons. So um, this, 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 we said. This. When he joined, this could be yeah. the thing that, that gets Wolves over the line. Yeah. And at the moment, that's what it's proven to be. It's fantastic. And it could have been a lot more, couldn't it, really? Yeah, to be honest, they, they, were, they sort of got better as the game went on. Mm. I thought they were really good in the last kind of half an hour. Burton had one shot all game and yeah. they put it in as a lucky goal. And um, People people having a go at John Ruddy tonight. Oh, well, I, think it's, well, I think it's unfortunate, really, since it's gone through a lot of players. I mean, he'll be People really can stop, can't they? Because he's, he's, he's the one that they go for at the moment. I, yeah. find it, I find it pretty unnecessary, to be honest. And he's a very good keeper. And he, he, he looked unsighted to me and it's taken a deflection and he's wrong footed him and yada yada yada. So yeah, yeah. You can't ever go in for that. Anyway, um, Burton have only one shot. I thought Wolves yeah, played better as the game went on. Morgan Gibbs White, good contribution from the from the bench again. Cavalero, like I said, looked very good. Wolves looked menacing. Mm -hmm. Again, they could have spanked Burton today, but they haven't dished out spanking, but that's the only criticism you can, you can give them. You say it's a good time to have international break, is it? One, two, and two? Still in good time? Uh, Get no, to a little no, bit of rest, but well, you know, you know, I'm sure. No, I'm sure Nuno will will appreciate it because the, there are some. Uh, it's just certainly the, day, the wing backs need need, need some need a bit of a break. Absolutely, yeah. Well, Barry's going to Scotland now, so. Money, money. There are some. There are some players I think that, that could do with a bit of Do Doherty could certainly do with a couple weeks off. Although he's going away with Ireland, so yeah, nobody's got a break. So uh, <laughs> Neves off with Portugal. Uh, Cavalera gets a break. Hey. Yeah. Okay, um, and uh, <laughs> on to uh, Middlesbrough. <laughs> I can't wait for this. <laughs> Could be yeah, just a game. Middlesbrough yep. away. I yep. think we can both take one. We'll both take a draw. It's a win-win. <laughs> no, Wolves haven't won at Middlesbrough since 1951, uh, which is a run of about 26 games. Yeah. So they've ended a lot of hoodoos this year. So you know, let's hope that's that's the the next one. But yeah, no, we await now to see what what Villa do at Bolton yeah. and um, what Cardiff do at Derby tomorrow as well, and we'll see what Wolves' lead is. But what, whatever those results, it's going to be a handsome one to third place. Uh, ahead, of, ahead of the final, we're eight games to go. Oh, oh, oh. Can't win oh. Hold on to it, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm holding to it. You're the pro. Guinness for you all, your, all your Nickelodeon experience coming back here as he holds the camera for a dear life. So, uh, uh, you know, big thing for me is. Where's well. our cameraman, by the way? There's, there's eight games to go, and four of them are here. And if Wolves win those four games, they win yeah. promotion for me, right? Yeah. They've got Hull. Eat, win. <laughs> Derby. Win. Blues. Win. Chef Wed. Win. If they. <laughs> <laughs> if they uh, if they win those four, they're up. For yes, me, right? yeah, hundred percent. And I think I think this is kind of what Laurie Dalrymple was. Laurie Dalrymple. Dalrymple. Dory, Dory Lalrymple was uh, alluded to yesterday yeah. when he said, you know, there's five home games left. We want we want fans to raise the roof. And like I said, I know that hasn't quite happened today, but if Wolves if Wolves can win the last four home games, I think that's it. Guinness for you tonight. Guinness. St Paddy's Day. Oh. Uh, no, Malbec. I've got a Malbec at home. Nice, nice. Might put it in the oven, nice and warm. <laughs> Bit of mulled wine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Wolves three, Burton one for the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressastar.com.